party there tonight, and I had the video camera there and asked some friends to uh, to help out with the video blog and talk a little bit about Wake the World or Wake and Flake. And my number one rule was, don't talk about me, just talk about Wake the World. And uh, Tom immediately uh, broke that rule right off the bat. This little clip's got Tom and uh, Derek Southerd in there, and it's funny watching Derek because I think Tom said everything Derek was going to say, so he was having a hard time finding the words. But anyway, here's uh, Derek and Tom. Derek Southerd. And we're here at Greg's 50th birthday party, and I just want to say that it's a real honor to, to know Greg, and I'm real proud of him for his efforts with Wake and Flake. I've uh, done Wake and Flake for three years now, and it's just uh, kicks off my wakeboarding season and I just really enjoy the, the event that he puts on every year and it's for a good cause. Uh, it's just a real thrill to see the children that he brings out and uh, to the lake and see them experience wakeboarding and, and wake surfing and uh, kneeboarding for the first time and uh, I encourage anybody that hasn't done it to, to get involved and uh, show some support for Greg. Hit it. <laughs> you gotta cut that out. Um, Matt. You okay? <laughs> Here, I'll stop it. Do you want me to stop no, it? Um, okay. I think one, one of the, the funnest things about Wake the World is we have a fundraiser. Wake, wake the World. I mean, wait. <laughs> you were on a roll, man. Just. March is. <laughs> every year, because it's always. A... Coming up this year in March. Wake and Flake, you gotta be there. We're gonna get out to the lake, ski or wakeboard, and head to Appalachian to snowboard. It's gonna be an awesome event. You get a free t-shirt or a free sweatshirt, and it's all for a good cause to help promote Greg's Wake the World program. And the program's now getting to be real big. And <laughs> it's an awesome event. You can get it in there. Go ahead. Come on and join us. We're looking forward to seeing you there. Well, the next day I got to go out and uh, wakeboard with uh, Tanner and Ian and uh, Mike Toller in his boat at Tucker Time. And the water was glassy smooth, just like usual. I know Ryan Carroll was uh, probably jealous. Ryan always uh, is very jealous of the smooth water that we get where we are. Ryan is in Texas, and he, uh, whenever he saw our lake, he immediately said, you were gonna hate my lake about 10 times that day. But anyway, um, I'll hope, hopefully have some uh, some video from, from Tanner and Ian and Mike uh, pretty soon.